said, boys hockey is back home after a tough loss in Grand Rapids. Having won six of their last nine, the Spuds are in second place in Section 8 2 a action this season. Tonight, they test their hand against single A's top-ranked East Grand Forks. Two of Western Minnesota's best tonight, and they prove it. Jack Stensgard with the slip, looking backhand as he crosses the goal mouth, but Josh Weber is all over it. The Spuds get the best of him a little later, though. Moorhead captain Alex Maynard sets things up with a dish behind the cage. He's first one there to slip it behind the back. Seth Benson finishes as the green wave is all caught following Maynard. one nothing Moorhead. A little later, EGF looking to tie it as Nathan Peabody fires from the point. Jacob Odegaard with the block and rush. Weber stands him up, though, and this one hits intermission. one nothing Scoring far from over in this one. Moorhead defends home ice and takes it 3-1 in the end, though. Over in North Dakota, West Fargo up 2-0 on North. They get a third in the first 30 seconds of the third period. Stone Standable finds Riley Verberg for his second goal of the night, finishes top left corner with the blow. They follow that up with goal number four. Nick Sal Salquist on the break, sets up James Beatty for West Fargo, a ringer off the far post to make it 4-0 Packers. After killing off the three-on-five penalty, the Packers are now with the advantage. Nick Puck, nice puck movement out to Ben Dirks, his second of the night, as the Packers wrap this one up. An eventful third period at Veterans, as this one wraps up 7-1 for the Packers, as Grand Fork Central seals the deal with an empty netter for the 5-2 finish over Red River at Purper Arena. The West Fargo girls took on Fargo Davies tonight. The first period, West Fargo up 1-0. Janae Sandoval passes to Courtney Walsh for the goal. The Packers make it a 2-0 game. Just 90 seconds later, it'll be Walsh again all by herself. She gets the goal to push the Packer lead up to three now. Now just one minute later, Walsh going for the hat trick. Gets the goal to go to put the Packers up 4-0. They go on to defeat the Eagles 8-1 at Veterans Memorial.